Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is History of Power Rangers Season 3, Episode 25 of my show. But this is about Episode 24 of Season 3. Now, Episode 24 in Season 3 of Power Rangers is part... Uh, in Season 3 of Power Rangers is part 2 in the three-part episode... A different shade of pink. Uh, but before I start talking about it, I just want to mention it's getting kind of late as I'm recording this. So what I'll probably do for tonight is I'll record it now, but I'll upload it first thing in the morning. I'll, after I have breakfast and stuff, uh, but uh, I'll upload it first thing in the morning. But I, at least, at the very least, I can get the recording part of it out of the way tonight. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So, anyway, this is this of Power Rangers Season 3, Episode 25 of my show. Uh, but this is about Episode 24 of Season 3. And Episode 24 is Part 2 in the Different Shade of Pink 3-part episode. Now... Basically, this part of the three-part episode, this second part in this three-part episode begins where part one left off. Now, if you guys remember, back in the previous part, I talked about uh, Catherine was too late to stop Kimberly from injuring herself on the balance beam when she was exhausted and stuff, so she had to have her taken to the hospital after the accident at the youth center and then um basically the doctors are wondering who the patient one of the doctors is wondering who the patient is and then the, a nurse is saying that the patient's name is Kimberly Hart and this is a friend who found her and then uh Catherine tells them that basically she was uh, practicing on the balance beam and hurt herself. And then they get to get her in for the operation to have her healed. And then um, one of the doctors is telling her that her friend is very lucky that she was there to help her when she needed to. And this is when uh, she's starting to basically uh, sort of see her face and everything. And that's when she sort of blacks out again. And by this, I'm, by her, I mean Kimberly. And then when she, before she blacks out, Catherine says that she says that actually it's all her fault. And then basically, then Rita and Zed are up in the palace. And then they're upset about Catherine being broken free from Rita's spell. Because, um... And then Zed's wondering how she broke free from the spell. And then Finster explains that the reason why Catherine broke out of uh, Rita's spell is because of, of the goodness she had overpowering her evil magic. And her desire to to care for her friend Kimberly over that selfless action of wanting to save her friend to prevent her from getting hurt is what caused Rita's spell on her to be broken. And then Rita said, when Rita finds out about that, she's like, oh well, it was fun while it lasted. And then when Zed agrees with them, her, she's like, Lucky for us, it happened right when she had, was supposed to finish the task she was sent to do. So, in a sense, it, the fact that she broke out of Rita's spell now is sort of a good thing. Uh, because she sort of... Uh... Succeeded in the mission that Rita and Zeb uh, had sent her to do, which is prevent 
which is because of Rita sending down all those monsters for the Rangers to fight, Kimberly was so exhausted that she wasn't able to p focus on the practicing on the balance beam, which caused her to end up in the hospital in this episode I'm talking about. Uh, so it's sort of a win-win situation for them in this case because they managed to keep the Rangers occupied and get one of them exhausted to the point where they could barely move. Uh, so in this case, the fact that Catherine broke out and read a spell at this at the end of the previous video I talked about and into the beginning of this video, uh, into the beginning of this episode I'm talking about now is just a technicality. And then basically, uh, getting back into it with uh, Kimberly and Catherine in this episode, uh, Catherine is waiting outside the emergency room, like behind the curtain for Kimberly, who's uh, being uh, treated by the doctors because of her condition, and then they tell her that her friend was lucky to you saved her, and then basically, uh, well, w before she goes unconscious, one of the doctors, because in, back in this previous segment of this episode, I talked about when uh, she w brought them in, she had mentioned to the doctors that it was all sort of all her fault, which is technically true, although not entirely. It was mainly because of the spell, but I get it, it's a technicality. And also, one of the doctors also mentions to Kimberly that he's going to take care of her, and then basically, and then what happens is after that, um, Kimberly, um, oh, well, the, the nurse that's working with the doctor on Kimberly for the operation so that she gets better from recovering from her injury, basically, steps up from behind the curtain, and then Catherine asks her if, she, if Kimberly's going to be okay, and then she says that all they, they can do is wait for her to rest to regain her strength now. And then she said that, she, which is good because they did everything they could, which is, she's, which is why she's okay. She just got to regain her strength now, so she's got to rest. And then basically after that, um, then what, basically happens is um, the rest of the Rangers as well as uh, Gunther Schmidt show up at the hospital and then uh, they also, uh, Billy also tells them that Kimberly's mom's on her way from Paris over to where she is uh, she needs to see her daughter in law but all as well and then Coach Schmidt is feeling uh, a little bit slightly guilty, like he's blaming himself for Kimberly getting hurt because of the fact that she was he was pushing her hard enough to train, and that's partially what caused the the accident, which is sort of which is not really true, although slightly, I guess. But anyway. Um, and then the, what happens is after that, um, uh, Catherine goes into the room where Kimberly is and then Kimberly wakes up and then she sees Catherine and then Catherine asking her how she's feeling and then, uh, um, Kimberly says she's fine, and the doctors told her that she's the one who found her, but, but she's confused by that because the, the 
you've said it was locked, so how was she able to um, find her and get her to the hospital if the front entrance was locked? And then basically, um, Catherine tells Kimberly that she's got something to tell her, but which is kind of crazy, but she's got to trust her on it. And then she tells them about the fact that she was under one of Rita's spells and that she always, that she knew all along that they were the Power Rangers and such. And that, but there was a, something uh, that was preventing her from doing it. And then when, when Kimberly hears that there was something from preventing her from telling them that it, she knew that they were the Power Rangers and stuff. She re Kimberly realizes it Rita's, was Rita's spell that was doing it. And then basically, um, what happens is, basically what happens is after that, um, Kim uh, then she says that it's not her fault. Rita says magic is really strong. And then she... Catherine's still feeling guilty, and then Kimberly asks Catherine, does she know how Tommy became a Power Ranger? Which is then when Tommy reveals to her about how he was under one of Rita and Zed's spells as well, and it made him do some terrible things, and he almost destroyed the Power Rangers. Oh, but before I continue, I just want to mention... Um, when her friends showed up in the hospital before Catherine showed up uh, in this segment of the episode I'm talking about, uh, what happened was Zordon con um, well, basically what happens is that, that part with Zordon comes later, but anyway, as I was saying, Tommy's explaining to Catherine that he was under one of Rita and Zed's spells. As well, it made him do some terrible things, and he almost destroyed the Power Rangers. And then one, and then uh, I can't remember exactly which one it is, but I think it might be either. I think it might be Billy, but he mentions one of the Ranger, male Rangers mentions that he came back stronger because of it, which is true because he got his White Ranger powers shortly after permanently losing his Green Ranger powers, which. In this case, are used for good, and then so, in a sense, it's a no harm done situation kind of thing, and then that's when the that's when reading that decide to send a monster down to recapture Catherine because. Uh, basically, and the monster that they decide to send down is basically this garbage can, like, creature, which is, I think it, which, I say garbage can, like, monster, because it's basically a green, like, monster that has a trash can with a tattoo to its head, and then, I just wanted to get that part of it out of the way, and then, um... Said he's explaining to the monster that he wants, well, because basically what happens is, um, Zed has Finn to create a monster to take Catherine back from the, for them because of the fact that she has to pay for her betrayal and stuff. So he creates, like I said, he creates this monster, which is basically this trash-like monster. Oh, before I continue, I just want to mention... Um, uh, after, I'm going to actually get back to the part where I was mentioning with the Rangers. I, I sort of skipped ahead to that previous part, uh, the part I was on right now, but I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just having a mental block. I think it's because I'm tired. That's why I'm probably going to record this now and then post it in the morning tomorrow. Um, but anyway, as it saying, 
Oh, I just want to mention something since I'm sort of getting close to the end of the episode anyway. Um, when the rest of the Rangers were in the hospital um, before Catherine talked to Kimberly, basically what happened was uh, their communicators had gone off and then Zordon, uh, then Tommy answered Zordon and then basically he says that first of all, he's happy to hear that Kimberly's feeling okay and then basically and he's explaining to them that they have a situation in hand reading and said it have sent the Tangas or something to attack the city like uh, they're attacking Angel Grove and stuff well actually um the part where they attack uh, yeah they sort of attack Angel Grove no one could uh, one of the rangers is down, so they, they're they not at full strength. So Kimberly decides to go, but then Zordon explains... Um, oh, actually, I think this part happens um, after the whole thing with the monster. Actually, yeah, well... Um... Then, Kim, like I was saying, Kimberly wants to go, but then Zordon explains that she has to stay th there to rest, to recuperate. And then, after the Rangers finished, uh, and also, as I stated before, um, Catherine explains to Kimberly about how she was placed under one of Rita's spells, and then that's when, uh, she also finds out about how, um, Tommy was placed under one before and back in season one basically and then that's when Rita and Zed send this trash can monster down to earth to retrieve Catherine and then basically what happens is um basically the reason why they send a monster with the trash can land is mainly because uh a thing about what broken dream is go, which is kind of true, because things can sometimes go in the trash if they're ruined, and basically, metaphorically speaking, I mean, and then, basically, uh, Billy and Catherine and Tommy are walking out of the, uh, hospital, and then, basically, what happens is, uh, they're getting a little depressed because basically in this part of the episode, uh, Kimberly had said that she was going to give up gymnastics. Um, um, and basically, as a reassurance, what happens is before Kathleen gets captured, she mentions to Kimberly about how she was supposed to compete in the Pan Global Games as well, and then Kimberly wonders about if it was for gymnastics, but she says that it was actually for swimming, like a diving thing, and then basically she's explaining to them uh, her how, uh, uh, she, how she, why she's afraid of the water is because when she, um, doing her final dive, what happened is she was nervous and then after that she hit her head on the diving board which was it go unconscious which was sort of similar to what happened with Kimberly with the balance beam and that's also sort of the reason why she's afraid to go to the water it's because of her fear of that incident it's clouded her mind making her doubt that she could do it and then basically um, she tells them that she missed the meet by one point, basically, and then, um, then the rangers, uh, have to morph to deal with the trash can monster. I, I'm just doing a little bit of backtracking since I'm getting kind of close to the end of the video anyway. Um, uh, but while the rangers fight the trash can monster, it gets away, and then it leaves behind this note, um, for them.
because it takes Catherine and then basically this, then the monster leaves this note behind and then the note tells them that they have to, well, well, what happens is the rangers decide that they have to try to protect them because basically uh, Zed and the monster fails to uh, capture Catherine and then all, what happens is because of that uh, Zed and Rita put plan B into action and then they send this note to the rangers and then the rangers basically, um, well, Billy reads the note and then he says that it's a, a ransom for them to turn over Catherine by the end of the day. Otherwise, they'll throw Ninja into the Sea of Sorrow. And then, because basically what happens is after the monster failed to capture Catherine, Rita had sent the note to them basically. And then that's basically where this episode stops. So if you guys like this video when I post it, I'm probably going to post it tomorrow since it's getting kind of late uh, tonight. So if you guys like this video when I post it tomorrow, just please give this video the real best you guys can. And I will see you guys probably sometime also tomorrow for the next video. So until then, like I always tell you with this series, may the power protect you always.